Your bad gut can cause your thyroid condition that many of you are suffering from. Some of you know about it, some of you don't know about it. Everybody knows about TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. My doctor says my TSH is too high. My doctor says my TSH is too low. What you and your doctor may not know because he or she does not practice functional medicine is that in order for TSH to be released, you need adequate amount of two very important neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine. The reason I say that, guess what? Where these are made? It is made in the gut. So bad gut can cause bad thyroid function. That is why we need to treat your symptoms all at the same time, metabolically and neurologically. Our medical physicians, they order lab testings for you to find the underlying hidden cause. There is no guarantee for cure. There is no promise for cure. My name is Peter. I came to Dr. Maz uh, to explore his treatment. And uh, the time I've been on it, it's been very good for me. It's helped me quite a bit. Uh, I've cut my thyroid medication in half. It's improved my vitamin D. I've had low vitamin D for about a year. And this is the only thing that has seemed to improve it. And uh, I hope that it gets better as I go along. And uh, I'm very well pleased with the treatment. That is why if you come to our office with symptoms of thyroid condition, we also inquire and assess your gut function as well. That is why when people go to the thyroid doctor, the thyroid doctor must check their gut. And a lot of times our experience shows it is not happening with the patients that come to our office. Otherwise, the patient would be on medication for the rest of their life. This is most often not done with thyroid doctors to check the patient's gut. In addition, most doctors look at T4, that is the main thyroid hormone, when in actually T3 is the active hormone that they need to check. And most doctors don't even check it. So you may have normal amount of T4, but your body does not convert T4 to T3, which is the active thyroid hormone. And lab testings will show you have a normal amount of T4 and drive yourself crazy, drive your doctor crazy, just because of inadequate lab testing that was ordered by many physicians. Don't get me wrong, this is not about physicians, this is about you. We have a lot of respect for many physicians. Without them, a lot of people would die. But this is generally speaking. It is very important to know most of your thyroid activity occurs away from your thyroid gland. You have to have everything else in your body working properly for your thyroid to work properly. If you have been taking cholesterol medication, statin drugs for a while, there is a good chance it is affecting your thyroid and liver function because cholesterol is necessary for all hormone production of your entire body. If you take cholesterol medication to lower your cholesterol, it's gonna mess up your whole hormonal system. In our videos, we have discussed thoroughly what is an autoimmune condition. Autoimmune condition is a condition that our body gets affected with stressors, chemical toxins, parasites, viruses, on and on and on, and cannot fight it. So as a result, the stressor attacks your organs or your systems or your tissues of your body, such as your thyroid gland, your gut, and very often your brain, and causes functional symptoms. You cannot medicate yourself to cure an autoimmune condition. There is why most chronic patient sufferers, they are taking medication for the rest of their lives. Hi, my name is Teresa Scataro. Um, I came to MedWell about 
I'm gonna say about four weeks ago. When I came here, I was like wiped out. I was done. Um, I asked Dr. Maz, you know, to help me. Um, I've been to naturopath doctors, other doctors. Anyway, long story short, um, he gave me the program and I was, you know, talking about my husband. I even had to argue with my husband, you know, being because I had to go through all the other uh, expenses. But anyway, I'm so glad that I, you know, I have, I got all my answers. Um, he's very thorough. He's a, a great person. He's very passionate in what he does. And I'm so, so glad that I did his program. I, I just want to say thank you, Dr. Maz. The reason I brought up autoimmune condition in this video is because most chronic patient sufferers have an autoimmune condition and do not know about it. You need to understand anything that causes immune battle in your gut will trigger inflammation. Anything that causes immune battle in your gut, it causes inflammation. When you have inflammation, when you have attacks in your gut, it could be food sensitivities, it could be food intolerances. The only way to know if you have food sensitivity or food intolerance is to get tested. It's not by how you feel. The only way that you find if you have gluten sensitivity is to get tested, proper testing. It's not if you have pasta, you feel good. Chronic hidden infections is an attack. Bacterial infection, parasites, mold, yeast, fing uh, fungus that cause unstable blood sugar, stresses adrenal glands. If you have autoimmunity, which most of you most likely do, that you're listening to this video, uh, experiencing chronic conditions, you cannot let your blood glucose to spike up or down sharply. When your blood glucose is low from missing meals or eating meals that are low in production of fiber or protein, your body raises blood glucose by increasing production of inflammatory called IL-6. Now, I don't want to be technical over here. You need to get tested for these as applicable because inflammation, thyroid problem, diabetes, gut problems affect every cell in your body. Let me repeat, you need to get tested for these possible attacks and autoimmune conditions thoroughly, functionally. MRI doesn't show a functional problem. Inflammation, thyroid problem, diabetes, gut problem affect every cell in your body. Based on lab findings and detailed functional assessment, therapies and nutritional products are dispensed to support and help you. The supplements that are designed to help your thyroid gland, the supplements that are designed to help your liver function, gut function, liver detoxification, very, very important. Sugar regulation, very important. Functional balancing and hormonal balancing for men and women. What is the medical model for treating autoimmune condition? prednisone, corticosteroids, they have a lot of side effects which are a lot worse than the symptoms that they're helping. What is the medical model for treating autoimmune condition? Surgery, removing thyroid, removing gallbladder, removing affected part of your colon because it is too late. Well, they have to be removed. So what they're doing is good. Medical model works fantastic when you let your body go and you have a sickness system over here, not healthcare system. If your gallbladder is destroyed, it has to be removed. My whole talk is to make sure your gallbladder does not get destroyed. Don't get me wrong. Many times you may need the medical model on drugs, but many times you don't need the medical model on drugs. Many times you need the medical model on supplements 
to address the cause of your overall health and make your functions of your body and your organs to work properly because there is no cure for many chronic conditions. So you have a choice to be on medication for the rest of your life, choice to take care of it naturally if you can, choice to do both. Many of our patients, by the time we are done with them, they go to their primary care physician who gave them the medication and the dosage goes lower and lower and lower and lower because their body functions better, better and better and better. We need to perform non-invasive, comprehensive testing, which I have talked in detail in other videos, to identify food sensitivities, food intolerances, gluten, dairy, soy, protein, corn, identify gut infection that is commonly not showing in blood test. We need to identify if you have an unstable blood sugar and tell you what to do. We need to identify if you have stressed adrenal glands and tell you what to do. We need to identify hormonal imbalance. Any of the above may cause the symptoms that you're experiencing now. What we need to do is based on lab findings and comprehensive gut function testing that we do in-house in the office to support and healing your gut function, to support and heal your thyroid function, adrenal function, liver and biliary gallbladder function, and very important, sugar regulation. Listen and listen to me carefully. You need to understand, 80% of your immune system comes from where? You learned that in elementary or middle school. 80% of your immune system comes from your gut. And almost 100% of the time, it's directly contributing to your chronic autoimmune inflammatory symptoms that you're experiencing. You may eat healthy, but if what you eat, even though it's healthy, if you have food intolerance towards it, it's not going to do anything good for you. What good does it do if you eat healthy but it doesn't even get digested in your gut because you have a leaky gut and you have full of inflammation in your gut and gut linings? It will not help you. So we need to eliminate inflammation and bad bacteria from your gut. Ask yourself this. If you feel fatigue after having a meal, most likely you're experiencing hypoglycemia. If you have hypoglycemia, you should not skip breakfast. You should eat a high protein or fiber breakfast. You should eat every two to three hours to keep your sugar level balanced. Snack between the meals. Avoid fasting 12 hours after dinner and before breakfast. If you have insulin resistance, you should avoid eating sugars. Limit food quantity. Don't eat too much for lunch or dinner if you have insulin resistance. Because if you have insulin resistance and you don't follow what I'm telling you, there's a good chance that you become diabetic later on and you don't want to get there. It's very hard to reverse it. So you should Avoid eating table sugars, white sugar, it's horrible, soda, no good. Limit food quantity. Limit starchy food to avoid fatigue after a meal. Increase physical activity. So our goal is to make you feel better as quickly as possible. Sometimes it happens during your first visit before you leave during the first visit. I want you to understand we are not the only one that's helping you. You and Medwell team, you and Medwell medical doctors, you and Medwell therapist, we work together to learn about you and all of us help you. So if this information was educational and you feel it makes sense to you, give us a call. If it doesn't make sense to you, don't give me a call. Don't call Medwell and ask to talk to one of the doctors. If you want to change your life, there is a very good chance that you're going to feel better. 
give us a call 201-848-8000 or go to the website fixmeup123.com. God bless.